pattern and practice of banning only one faction of people. I don't agree Quillette with that. recently published an article where they looked at 22 high profile bannings from 2015 and found 21 of them were only on one side of the cultural debate. But I don't look at the political spectrum of people when I'm looking at their tweets. Right. So this is a little sleight of hand that she's doing. 21 out of 22 people that were banned were conservative. And she's saying, well, I'm not even looking at the political ideology, so how can you accuse me of targeting them based on their political ideology? Well, you don't have to look at them and try to figure out their political ideology. It's built into the rule. That's the point. You built a rule that discriminates against conservatives. It's like if somebody said no black people allowed at a certain establishment, and then some people came around and said, hey, that's racism. What are you doing? And you say, oh, it's not me. It's the rule. I'm just applying the rules. You made the rule. You can't make a rule and then hide behind the rule. Can so can you be clear, though, in, in like what rules support that perspective? Specifically, the, the easiest one is misgendering, right? Because that's so clearly ideological. If you ask a conservative, what is misgendering? They'll say, if someone is biologically male, and you call them, you know, she, he, uh, a biologically male, and you call them a she, that's misgendering. That's a conservative okay. view. The, the, the progressive view is inverted. So now you actually have in your policies a, a rule against the conservative perspective. I have a rule against the abuse and harassment of trans people on our platform. They are enforcing their ideology, and they can say the point is to prevent abuse and harassment, but the mechanism by which you are doing that is by enforcing your ideology and preventing other people from saying their ideology. So you absolutely are enforcing your ideology. In, in, in go going ahead. into like Megan Murphy, for instance, right? You can call that target harassment. If Megan Murphy, who is, uh, for those that are, don't, don't know, she's a radical yeah. feminist who refuses to uh, use the transgender pronouns. If she's in an argument with a trans person over whether or not they should be allowed in sports or in biologically female spaces, and she refuses to use their pronoun because of her ideology, you'll ban them. Again, it depends on the context on the platform. And it's also I want not banned permanently. Like, you get warnings. Well, she was bid with men aren't women, though. And that was her first in, in the series of events. That's what got her the suspension and the warning. Um, that was one of many tweets that right, was right, part right. of providing context. And that was actually the second. Second, actually. Strike is my understanding. Banned permanently. But let's but be she clear was warned, yeah. about what happened. But well, she was warned Because you explained times. it to me. Well, so when challenged on another example, and she doesn't try to defend the rule. What she's trying to do now is say, well, you're not going to get banned on it. Well, that's a half truth. You will be banned on it eventually after several times, but you won't be banned on it the first time. So her new position is you're not going to be banned on it. It's going to take several times to get banned on it. Well, that's not much better. I mean, it's like saying that black people are only allowed to sit in the back of the bus and then you say, if you don't sit in the back of the bus, you're not going to go to jail. Like, you'll just get a warning and you might get a uh, fine. So it's no big deal, right? The no sitting in the back of the bus is no big deal, right? Because you're not going to jail. I mean, eventually you will go to jail if you break it three times. You'll get two citations and then you'll go to jail a third time. But you're not going to go to jail the first time. So the rule's okay, right? Of course not. The rule is bad regardless of whether you go to jail the first time or whether it takes three times. The rule itself is bad. That's the question. She's trying to soften it because it, she's saying, well, the punishment is not as bad as, as you're saying. The punishment is not as extreme as you're saying. That doesn't matter. The punishment is still a punishment. There should be no punishment. That's the point they're making. But she's kind of dodging it with this punishment talk. It's kind of it's a change of subject. But, but why is that a strike? But yeah, why is but, that a strike? But the but again, like it's the context of I don't I don't have all the tweets in front of me. There were like 10 or 12 tweets going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that in the context of all of those, she was misgendering a particular person. That's the whole issue in debate. She's saying men are not women, though. And then Joe and Tim are saying, hey, you shouldn't be banned for saying that. And she's saying, well, this person said men are not women, though. You can't use the accusation as a defense. It's like the example before. It's like saying black people have to sit in the back of the bus and then the black person doesn't sit in the back of the bus and then they get a fine or thrown in jail and people say, what are you doing with this stupid rule? And they say, well, he wasn't sitting in the back of the bus. That's not a defense. When you get called on the rule, you can't just repeat the rule back as if that's a defense. The rule is what is in question. Something that I'll definitely discuss with my team. And, for, and even in this case, it, would, it wasn't just... Um, a, you know, going against this particular rule, but also things that were more ban evasive as well, including 
taking a screenshot of the original tweet, reposting it, which is against our, our terms of service. Well, that sounds well. like so- Tim and Joe say, we don't think this rule is right. And then Jack says, well, they did other stuff. Well, that's a different subject if they did other things that we're not talking about that. So they're trying to justify a rule by pointing to other different things. That's absurd. That's like the black man that doesn't sit in the back of the bus and then you give him a citation. Somebody gets upset about it. And then you say, well, he actually jaywalked and he urinated in public too. So so the, the rule about being in the back of the bus is fine, right? Because he did other things. No, that rule is not fine. I don't care what else he did. I don't care if he killed somebody. The rule that you're talking about, I mean, I care about if he killed somebody, but the rule that you're talking about, he shouldn't be punished for that. That's the subject. Fuck white people ad nauseum. It's not a problem. It doesn't get it doesn't get removed. I'm not talking about mocking. I'm talking about abusing and harassing somebody. But I mean, if you now she's playing word games. He says, well, what about white people? They get mocked. And she says, well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about abuse and harassment. Well, mocking can also qualify as abuse and harassment. And what he meant by mocking was abuse and harassment. So she's playing word games. Fine, but this is about, are you doing something with the intention of abusing and harassing a trans person on the platform? And are they viewing it that way and reporting it to us so that we take action? She just said previously that it's okay to mock white people. And then now she's saying that if a transgendered person just even takes something in a negative way and report it, and they took it badly, then that's going to be an opportunity for a strike or for a ban. Right, but the rule, its this seems like a good example of an ideologically based rule. If, if, you're, if she's saying that a man is never a woman, though, that is not, in that context, harassment. That is a very specific opinion that she has that happens to be biologically accurate. You have a very specific rule set. And in m- more importantly... In the context of a targeted conversation, I can say a whole bunch of things that would never be considered a rule break, but that one is, which is ideologically driven. Yeah, thank you for the feedback. I mean, we're, we're again, always learning. I'll try to be more careful. I hope so. 